We're Bike Builders of Berkeley. We, um, we're a club at UC Berkeley and we build mountain bikes, road bikes, and gravel bikes. This is our V2 mountain bike. The first one we built was carbon fiber. We unfortunately don't have that with us this year. This guy is uh, it's a high idler, um, full suspension enduro bike. We're looking at 170 mils of travel on the front, 170 in the back. Um, this is a totally bespoke linkage design that we uh, designed in house with our club. That was kind of our part of the big project of this guy is this is um, a really odd sort of linkage design here. And um, it results in, we have a really good leverage ratio. A lot of our kinematic scraps are really nice. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, hopefully gonna take it out and ride it on some of the courses here and um, see how it does. Kind of a, a proof of concept. This is like, you can still see it looks very prototypey. This is kind of the, the prototype, get everything working, functioning well. Uh, you can check us out on Instagram at uh, Bike Builders of Berkeley. Uh, we have a website, same thing, bikebuildersofberkeley.com. Yeah, check us out. We're doing some cool stuff. Okay. Yeah. All students, we had a, a, you know, everyone from freshmen to uh, master students, mechanical engineering people to art majors. Getting a lot of great experience, getting new people both into biking and into the machining and welding and things like that. And so, it's, yeah, it's been really fun. We started this club a few years ago in 2021. And, now we got a couple bikes and we got here at Sea Otter this year, which is a dream come true. So, yeah. That's so awesome. Can I grab audio from you guys? Just starting, like, you only touch on the bike, but just start from the top of, like, what it all is. Patrick at FSA, we've got Vital Fantasy coming up Fort William in like two weeks. Need an elite men's and women's World Cup downhill winner prediction. Uh, men's, I'm gonna go Charlie. I mean, you can't. Charlie Sponsel? <laughs> Charlie Sponsel wins a life. He's always gonna be dialed. Uh, Charlie Hatton, I mean, I gotta go with our Atherton boys too, uh, but world champ. And then women, I mean, Valley's always a solid, solid favorite for anything at this point. So I gotta pick Valley. We've got Vital Fantasy starting in a bit, and we got Fort William in two weeks. I need an elite men's and women's, juniors, men's and women's first All place right, prediction. All right, juniors will go, Ace is hurt, huh? Yep, okay. Okay, Chris Hauser, junior. Um, he's British too, isn't he? Uh, he's Italian. He's European. Okay, he's European. <laughs> <laughs> Pro woman, I'll go Valley, hard to, hard to knock her. And elite man will go, Lloyd Brenny. How's Luca gonna do in slalom? Oh, he's gonna crush it. He's got that core, That's right. core scoped out. He's dialing in in his head. He's I got, got a bunch it. of scooter parts on this thing. Look at all the oil slick. Man. People might find out that you have a pass sort of in that probably. I ordered 
some stickers on Amazon. They don't quite fit, but they say Canyon. It looks like a drop shadow. Yeah, it's a little drop shadow. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff watching from the video, a lot of people that get But yeah, Sounds uh, good, man. It's, all, it's all been in development. Okay. Sneak it up on me. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. You're not gonna sneak up on anyone with that shit. Yay! If I found a 70 foot building for you to ride off, would you do it? Because that's basically what you did at Rampage, right? No, it wasn't. There was more thought behind it than that. I'm not trying to say you didn't think about it, but I'm just the insanity of how big it actually was. Yeah, it was a big boy. But, you know, depending on the landing, maybe we would go off the building. I think the drop I did at Rampage was on. What did you think when, when you built the drop? It was strange. When I built it, I wasn't too worried. I thought, it's, you know, it's a nice drop, it's big, but it's going to be fine. And then people kept coming over and looking at it and stressing about it. And then I suddenly started to think maybe it, maybe it is too big, but... To be honest, I think it would have been fine. I just needed to get into the top of that little sweet spot on the landing and it would have been okay. You are a madman, G. She's working actually for us in the US office for Vitals launching their fantasy league. We got Fort William in two weeks. I need an elite men's, women's, junior men's, women's winner prediction for downhill. Ooh, um, I mean, Charlie's got to be a pretty good bet for the men's. He's been a strong man last year, world champ. He's been up there this year racing. We're doing some training there. Women's, probably say Valley. I don't know how Pom Pom is this. I don't know if she's going to be back on it. That's a bit of a, you know, been quite quiet. Junior, I'd say he's quite open. I'm quite looking forward to seeing that. So I don't have a name for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> your stripes on oh yeah to be fair I should have them on here but <laughs> I forgot them on the flight now they lost them maybe <laughs> are you pumped for World Cup in a couple weeks here World yeah World? I'm super excited we got yeah two weeks from the first World Cup back in Fort William where obviously some good memories last year so yeah I'm absolutely stoked to get back up there and get back racing all right besides you winning the men's you got a prediction for elite women or junior men and women Win elite woman um, I think Valley, elite woman, I think she's going to be riding really well this year. Or maybe Rachel if she comes, but we're still not sure yet. Um, and then juniors, I'm sure there's some new fast up and comers. So yeah, it's always uh, an interesting one with the junior. So yeah, look forward to seeing that. Oh, hold on. What should we ask him? What should we ask him? Hey, fork off. <laughs> Fork off media, paparazzi. Nico Vuglio. Okay, yep. Heard he's coming back. 
<laughs> Jordan, hey Jordan, we were just looking for you. We've got a question for you. Oh, shoot. Hot shoot. Seat. I'm biased, so I'm going to say men's Lori Greenland, elite women's Nina Hoffman, uh, junior women, Ellie. Holtzbosch, she's on the Rock Shock, or she's on the Rock Shocks Union Trek team now, which unfortunately is no longer ours. Um, junior men. It looks kind of cool. The little rust pattern. Big man track. I'm gonna go with Chris Hauser. Nice. Yeah. Is that dad cam? It's a dad cam. It's not a print magazine, so I don't know how you're gonna react to it. <laughs> uh, I had a dream two nights ago that Laurie Greenland won Fort William. So uh, read what you want into dreams, but I'm putting Laurie first. In second place, I'm putting another syndicate rider, Ollie Davis. What? Yeah, Ollie Davis is it's a late breaking news. Uh, uh, women's elite, uh, Nina Hoffman. Uh, I have a huge soft spot for her, but also she's had some amazing results there. And then in the juniors, Christopher Hauser on the, on the junior men's and on the women's. Uh, Ellie, oh, I'm gonna murder her last name, but another union rider, Ellie Holzen from the union. She's she's gonna be a one to watch. Does it bar spin? Oh, we're hitting curbs. Auto shit. What's your strategy for racing Sea Otter downhill this week? Well, I got a thousand bucks in my pocket and no bike, so today we're trying to buy something and it's open from there. So, you have any leads so far? Step one is find a bike. The closest one is a $1,600 high tower. It's 2018. Pretty decked, but it might be a small or a medium, but we got to make something happen today, so. <laughs> Let's go with Cam and Balanche, you know, keep it calm, I'll keep it Troy Lee there. And then Elite Men, I'd love to see Amory back on top, man. He's, uh, it was a rough season last year, but it'd be good to see, uh, good to see the Frenchie up there. So we'll see, it's coming up quick. All right, you can show two. So lift it up so it's showing two.
Yeah, we're, we are actually painting them with our project water bikes in, in uh, Diamond and Waterloo. So Waterloo painting. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 